Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Music Lab Podcast. My name is Dog, and I'm so happy to be back with you for another episode of an album review. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be reviewing the new album from Austin, Texas's own Uncle Lucius and their their album, Like It's the Last One Left. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure to like, follow, and subscribe. Do all that fun stuff with our social media and our YouTube channel. Make sure to uh, check out our sponsor, RAR Outfitters. That's R-A-W-R, outfitters.com, for all your holiday shopping. And you can still get that in before the holidays. Um, And yeah, let's dive in. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's travel in time back to 2002. And 25-year-old Kevin Galloway decides to leave the banking industry and his hometown of Freeport, Texas, to become a musician and move to Austin. With a baritone voice that is only matched by William Prince, he assembled a four-piece band and self-released their first studio album, Something They Ain't, in 2006. They quickly followed up their second album in 2009 with Live at the Saxon Pub, which is a great bar and music venue in East Austin that I've been to myself. And then 2012's album, And You Are Me, which featured the singles Pocket Full of Misery and Keep the Wolves Away, which to this day, ladies and gentlemen, has over 136 million streams on Spotify, and where this band's story is truly defined. After 2015's release of The Light, co-founder and bassist Howe left the band, and in 2017, Galloway decided to step away as well. Now, the ironic part is, is just a year later, in 2018, the television show Yellowstone featured Keep the Wolves Away at the end of Episode 4 in Season 1. And as you can see by the numbers I shared, the song took off. Fast forward to today, and the boys are back with quite possibly their finest work to date. Maybe five years off and allowing the buzz to build for a reunion of sorts allowed them to record like it's the last one left in a recording space with vaulted ceilings and they recorded the album live to give it depth and authenticity. There are 10 tracks and a little over 36 minutes. So let's dive in. Our first track off the album is a song called Keep Singing Along. It's a dreamy dreamy opening to start the album until Kevin begins vocally with a slinky black backdrop musically that is propelled by finger picking on the guitar. I also love the dreamy transitions between verses and how they add the piano over the top that leads into the organ blaring to finish the song, and it finishes how it starts. The next song in the album is called Civilized Anxiety. The drums take charge in the beginning until the guitar kicks in with a Tom Petty feel. I like how the band builds tension through the verses and the harmonies, in the chorus provide depth. A song that Kevin admitted was difficult to sing, and he didn't like his take, so it is sung differently live going forward. I love also the minor note effects on the guitar that kind of match the vocal howls on this burner, 
as the song charges toward the finish, with the drums keeping the pace until the freakout to close the song. My favorite lyrics are out behind some pine trees. That is where you'll find me, taking my time and just trying to breathe. Back behind some pine trees, that's the place where you will find me, just trying to hide from society. The next song is All the Angelinos. Our first country song of the album with fiddle and a tongue-in-cheek look at a different migration that Texans are dealing with. And it's not from Mexico, but from California. A true showcase of his voice and his humor. And I promise you will hum this song for days after you listen to it. It's just a fantastic song with a warmth to it that will put a smile on your face. My favorite lyrics, they moving down to Texas, where the burden of the tax so lax. They moving down to Texas, and they buying up the cowboy hats. They moving down to Texas, where the oil and the freedom flow. And freedom is spelled D-U-M-B instead of D-O-M. They moving down to Texas for the pony and the rodeo. That leads us to our next song, I'm Happy. You know, a statement in the title and how the band approaches the song in this slow floater that, again, just puts a smile on your face as you sway back and forth with his vocals. Simple, but in waltz form, the accordion is truly the highlight. The next song, ladies and gentlemen, to end side A, too, if we're looking at this as a vinyl album, this is track five, that would be Tuscaloosa Rain. Good Lord. The bass line and the strings that introduce this song gives you the chills. The piano and strings are so tastefully done as they sprinkle throughout. Again, the warmth in the song and the bridge might be the highlight of the album as you just float along. The female vocal ooze provide a balance to Kevin and it's so well done. The song turns dramatic and powerful to close out the final one minute and 30 seconds as Kevin and the ladies pour out their hearts for you, the listener. My favorite lyrics and my last song where I'm featuring lyrics. So every, everything was on side A, ironically enough. I pour one out for yesterday, a toast to the time that I have left. I know the past will never change. So I let go of this regret. Some powerful stuff. So let's flip the uh, the vinyl over to side B, and we kick off with Love in Kind. You know, I get a lot of Eagles Don Henley vibe on this one, as once again, you feel the warmth from a well-produced song. I love the female harmonies and the musical spacing in this mid-tempo that kicks off, like I said, side B. The next song, Holy Roller. Holy moly is more like it. This song might be the overall band's highlight of the album because all of them provide fantastic moments. The guitar sounds nasty as it solos after the bridge. The organs provide the energy and the drums are the heartbeat as Kevin howls throughout. And then that funky bridge shows up with that said organ, and it just blasts off. Uh, you know, I think of all of the songs on this one, I think this is the one that I want to hear live the most. Um, I really hope that they kind of extend this and jam it out, because uh, they are known to do that. So, Next song that we've got is Draw the Line. 
At just a minute and 21 seconds, it's an acoustic strummer with atmospherics and no vocals. To kind of give you a break from Holy Roller, I presume, or to prepare you for the next song. The next song is Trace My Soul. This is a mid-tempo rocker that again is effective in its musical spacing in allowing the song to breathe. And I feel like it has a Black Crows vibe to it, and I like it. Then we have our last song of the album, track 10, Heart Over Mind. A Texas lullaby with strings that make you feel meditative as it floats along. Positivity in the message and a proper closing track. The music truly takes over as Kevin takes a back seat, as you can picture a sunrise or sunset while listening to this one on your headphones or earbuds. Hold on, slow down, take it easy. Hold on, slow down, take it easy. It's a good mantra for life. And that's how the song ends, ladies and gentlemen. So my final thoughts. Well, let me give you my favorite tracks first. As always, when you have an album uh, of any stature like this, where you have more than three tracks that are standout, and I only pick three, it was difficult. But my three favorite tracks off this album, ladies and gentlemen, All the Angelinos, Tuscaloosa Rain, and then Holy Roller. You know, as this album has shown us, I am truly thankful that after six years, Uncle Lucius has reunited and given us this amazing record. I first became familiar with the boys in 2012, and I saw them at South By in 2013 in Austin, Texas, and became a fan and a follower ever since. Fast forward almost 11 years, and after eight years since their last album, Like It's the Last One Left is a welcome return for the fans, and I hope that this leads to more albums and a full concert schedule in the near future. Dates so far announced, we have three dates at the end of this month, we have dates in February, and then next October... They've announced shows in England. So that's pretty exciting. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I thank you so much for watching and listening. Again, make sure to like, follow, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. That supports us. That supports the bands that we feature. And also, check out our sponsor, Roar Outfitters. Thank you all so much. I've been Dog. You've been great. This is the Music Lab Podcast.